so let's start with pagination so yeah uh, so uh, i'm going to search something in google and let's see what is the result first uh, to understand the pagination so i'm just searching spring boot okay so if i am searching with the spring boot so what google did it it give me some result responses and if you go to the end of the page you see it like page number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what happened here basically so the thing is like we have the hundred record and each page have the ten records so if you go to the page number two you will show the next ten record which is nothing but so uh, for uh, for page number one uh, we are getting the record from zero to nine from page number two we are getting ten to 19 for the page number 3 20 to 29 so this is how so what happened if you implement the pagination basically uh, fetching all this record from the database and uh, displaying or processing that much amount of data uh, it will it will cause your application and maybe your application gets failed or uh, maybe you will get uh, the uh, heap amnesia the memory error uh, okay so to remove this kind of drawback we are implementing the pagination so i already created the basic project for the pagination so this is the project pagination and these are the dependencies i already added which is nothing but the jpa web mysql connector lombok as usual and test it is the default dependency uh, and, and after that i already created one class which is student I added this annotation builder getter setter entity all our constructor no our constructor these all from the Lombok after that I uh, I add only three attribute like ID name and city so ID is nothing but the primary key and here we have the generation type is equal to identity okay so this is the student dot Java after that we have student repository so it is the simple syntax extended by jp repository which where we are passing the student and the primary key long is nothing but the primary key from the student okay this is the long okay after that we have this application properties so this uh, as usual application dot properties for the database connection so here we have the uh, username password and the ddl auto setup after that these are the dialect property and these are for the showing SQL and formatting SQL. So these are the basic properties I already said. So inside this, uh, the main class, this is nothing but our the main class, right? Pagination application. So here, what I did, I implement command line runner. So what it did, so whenever application start, it run this method, run method. So uh, basically what I did, I created the student list. There I added some student using builder because we are using Lombok, right? So I added Pratik Neha, Shubham Rex, Toremon, Chota Bhim, Ash, Popile, Shinshan, Johnny Bravo, Scooby-Doo, Kora, Katara, Ang, SpongeBob, Tom, Jerry, Mickey Mouse, and Pooh. So yeah, so we have this much amount of students we have. And some of them are lived in UK, US, China, Thailand, Scotland. So yeah, I, I group them accordingly and I am saving them all. So if you see the database structure for it, so we have also database structure so this is our pagination uh, uh, yeah pagination uh, database where we have this tables so this is the student table i am going to click on the table data so yeah uh, so what happened once you run the application all data is reflected here directly there we have city as well as name so and the id so that's it for this project setup so we will start implementation of the pagination from the next video thanks for watching